Saba Sumba, Wesaza, Ede Kampala, Paulo, Samo Gere, Orale Runo, Avud de Mumbera, Nata Kaka, Abantu, Tukoyo Kubala Banga Babo Nabona, Tukoyo Kulaba Abantu, Ngabatu Lugunizi Wanga, Basibi Wawe Rere, Ngabati Wawatali Musango, Tukoyo Kulaba, Ebi Kurwa, Ebi Fuga B, Ngabi Yorekera, Mugwanga, Uganda. A Saba Sumba, Binabio Gedeng, Auxinzi Avali Rubaga, Cathedral, Eran Sabo Kirize, to Gendot, Funevi Gambaria Saba Sumba, Ovio Sagueno, Gala Gautal Mativu, Kuban Tuva Naba Mwana Inchi, Kuba Kiriza, Abaita Mukubona, Abono Kunje Nye Sanjizino, Ate, Government, Obaba Vio Querinda, Abandiba Dava Kuma, Gatuze, Miaka Giri, Ejari, Ejaba Musvira Mubwa, Kati Bidi Uganda one. A Federal Administrator ably recognized all categories of people, distinguished members of this congregation in a special way, and I would like to thank him. But I would particularly welcome the Chief Justice Emeritus Lordship Badka Turebe. Thank you for coming and for honoring our invitation. <clears throat> Similarly, I welcome Justice Richard Butera, representing also the Chief Justice of Uganda. Thank you for coming. Sebo wekiti wa speaker wa Buganda Rukiko nebo kulembe debo na tusanyuse nyo ukubalaba mwebale kukiriza kutu wa budebo no kutuwega tako ukwekiti wa umweleza wekwanga ya fili la amazima no wenkanya Echo kula bila kuchapa na Uganda wana, we wale nyo ukujia, no chikiri la Uganda, kunsonge yonkuru eno. I would like to welcome the Honorary Minister, uh, Nabakova. Welcome the Leader of Opposition, Honorary Mpuga, Right Honorary Mpuga. Honorary Ministers and the Members of Parliament, I would like to thank my elder brother Emeritus Archbishop Kasuja for being here with me to celebrate the sacrifice of Mass and the clergy. All religious men and women, brothers and sisters in Christ, On this day, 51 years ago, the then Chief Justice of Uganda, Honorary Justice Pendicto Chiwanuka Kajimu Mugumba Chiwanuka, was killed in Maki India military prison. Shortly after his abduction by unknown assailants, allegedly belonging to the then dictatorial Idi Amin, during his regime. We thank the Lord who has gathered us here today to pay tribute to him and to pray for his soul. I would like to particularly salute you on this working day of a weekend in a very difficult time of the day that you have sacrificed everything else and chosen to come to be with us as we celebrate and thank God for Benedicto Chuanuka and also pray for his soul. Chuanuka was a man of principles, integrity and justice. His life and service in the judiciary left an indelible mark 
in the legal fraternity, in the political arena, in the church, and in our society as a whole. Benny Chuanuka also did well in defending the rule of law and the fundamental freedoms of the oppressed. He passionately and above self protected the rights of all for which he paid the ultimate price with his life. We too, dear brothers and sisters, are called to imitate the good that Ben Chonuka stood for. We know that the situation in Uganda today is somewhat different from the times of Chuanuka. Yet we still witness a gross abuse of human rights. Injustice in some courts of law. Rampant corruption in many public offices. And the blatant abuse of the rule of law. Many have since gone missing for political reasons, while others are murdered in cold blood for various reasons. So as we gather today, let us reflect on our own selves as individuals and trace our progress on the path to achieving a peaceful coexistence as men and women created by God. There is no reason why we should have injustices and conflicts and violences seen in Uganda and the world in the world at large. And Pope Francis, during this month of, of, of peace of September, is calling on us to be mindful of each other and to be peaceful men and women. In his message for the 15, 56th World Day of Peace this year, the Holy Father reflected on the lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. Pope Francis wrote that certainly after directly experiencing the fragility of our own lives, the greatest lesson we learned from COVID-19 was the realization that we all need one another. He appeals to us all to create a culture of solidarity and fraternity in the rec recovery from global disasters, from wars and conflicts inclusive. The Pope stressed that three, there, there cannot be peace without the culture of care. Care in ensuring public health for all, in putting an end to conflict, care for nature, our common home, care for the poor, the, the starving, the refugees and migrants, among others. He emphasizes the need of every person to play a creative role in the project of peace, highlighting the theme of our peace month that no one can be saved alone. Let us embark together in the paths of peace. The, all, the Holy Father also noted that 
the widespread pro problems of inequality, injustice, poverty, and marginalization continues to fuel unrest and conflict and generate violence and even wars in our society today. He thus calls, calls on all men and women, artisans of peace, to build a new world, an extension of God's kingdom, a kingdom of love, justice, and peace. I would like to thank the judiciary of Uganda. Yesterday, they also played their role and recognized once again Benedict Chuanuka as a man of peace, as a man of justice. Being recognized as a good example to society is very rare these days. Because many of us are victims of generating conflicts in society. But Ben Chuanuka stood out and he died for this peace. I'm told that he was asked a question whether would be faithful, royal to the, the president or to what he believed. And courageously stood out and said, he stands for justice and peace. He was warned, cautioned, that if you are not standing on my side, you can die. And he said, better to, for me to die than sacrifice justice. We thank him for being a good example to us all. In our society today, with a lot of conflicts and injustices, we are to take the example of Benedict Chuanuka. Each one of us in our own way. Peace in our homes, peace in our communities, peace within the church, peace in the country. In the first reading, which we have heard from James chapter 3, the writer exalts his audience to a true wisdom which comes from God. In contrast to the false wisdom which is earthly. James calls upon the wise and understanding, and that is the leaders of the community, like many of us gathered here now, to demonstrate their wisdom by a good life and humility. He points to two qualities that indicate a lack of true wisdom, that is bitter jealousy and selfish ambition. Bitter jealousy is an intensely negative attitude toward another person's achievements and successes. And selfish ambition is a disordered and excessive desire to get ahead in life. And for James, wisdom of this kind is earthly and spiritual and demonic aimed at producing instability and evil. And this is what we witness in our society today. So James exalts us to the true wisdom that is from above. And this wisdom is pure in that one rejects sin 
and chooses God. This wisdom is peaceable, gentle, and compliant. It is full of mercy and good fruits, thus creating harmony and goodwill. It makes us honest and upright persons. So dear brothers and sisters, those of you who cherish peace and justice, and as we gather to pray and remember the late Benedict Chuanuka, the Lord invites us to choose humility, gentleness, honesty, peace, and above all, purity as we embark together on paths of peace. This is the wisdom from God. It is the path of God which leads us to peace and harmony. It rejects envy, greed, and selfish ambition, and preference for peace and goodwill. As noted, St. James tells us that those who cultivate peace will reap for themselves the fruit of righteousness. That is a right relationship with God and ultimately salvation. And this is the goal of all our striving. And this is the, the path that we all should take. And this path will lead us to peace. In the gospel that we have heard today, Jesus appears to his disciples after his resurrection. His disciples hopelessly and in fear of the Jews had locked themselves up. We notice their change in mood at the appearance of the Lord. For the disciples rejoiced at seeing their risen Lord and the Lord is greeting, Shalom, peace be with you, drives away their fear and troubles. And the Lord commissions them, empowering them with the Holy Spirit to administer God's mercy. Let us relieve that moment of Jesus Christ's appearance to the disciples and welcome the greeting of peace be with you. As we celebrate the peace month, may we like the disciples experience the presence of our Lord in the midst of our families, our society, and our nation. He is the Lord of peace whose presence comforts the troubled. He sends us today to be agents of his mercy, to build bridges in the place of walls. As we live this sacrifice and this moment of reflection on justice and peace, let us pray like St. Francis of Assisi that, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life.
Masibu neba njabu. Mbeba ziza nyoku vera. Mwasa ze uku na kuruno. Mbudevu nukore mirimu. Mwini mwujo na jona. Ni mwuso suwaza. Okujia okujukira. Hero. Omuzira kwa Uganda. Bendi kitu chuanuka. Ya fili la mazima. Mweba liku laba. Ni wangu bade bangali yiseo. Ni mwujukira mwuru unji. Omuli mwuru unji. Na dada uko kuimi ila u. Na awera omujulizi. Na ajuila mkama ufezu kristu. Nga anywele la kumazima. Ukuja kumekute geza. Ndinamu umaliri de okumufana na mbramu. Neba za nyo. Uwe kitibwa. Agendo tui ya mbo kuhibu lida hati mungeri enja ulo. Kukulamu. Bomu. 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 Tibu ono. Bendi kito chuanuka. Yeri. Saba la muzi. Ya mkule embera. Uwe kitibwa bati katulewe. Sanyi nisho nyo kula wanga ya agendo kule embera. Ukwebulira kwa fi. Kubanga biyari ko. Irabi ya kora. Biyari biko vera. Bendi kito chuanuka. Mulimogo kwa ya kolo bulunji. Ukubera wukwe. Tiri mulala ndoja kutuja kukuli liza bulunji. Ngono ya tula muntebe ye. Ya tulamu. Obo lia wanama nyani kubula mubi. Sebu wikitibu wa Twitter aga awara mzibanji. Mkulu utera. Twitter aga awara mzibanji kumulembe kwa figuno. Awa nyuri laku mazima. Nibasa la mazima. Ati nibaimi ila huu. Bwantogo Ngatebeo kumuma Kuwanga banyo edo kumazima ako Mbulembe kwa fiku no Na habana watu Batu funuri de Fabari woka akati Tubalake kube tufu Dutino kutambo lilako Elina rete mire mbe Nesanyo Mbudebu abwe Mwebali nyo kujo kubela huu Ukubela wajuri zibecho kituliko kakati. Tusawamu kama atuwe mirembe ya ino tuku atilako. Kubafu abantu. Mbuli omu kufi. Mwanda muli. Alina eki musika okuwa gado kore yuchamu. Okuwe fako. Okuwe kusa. Na yutu imirileo. Faba ulira. Na dara. Ketu gendo kui na kubeni chua nuka. Tuve wano. Ketu genda kubeni wa anja ulo. Kela tuwete anja ulo. Mbura mo wa fe. Mbura mo wa fe. Mbura mo wa fe. Mkama fe yezu kristu. Mbura mo karistia. E ya rio muenkanya. Na ye ya fili la amazima. Atu ya menafu kubeni wa vumu. Kubeni wa nyuevu. Okubera abo awarete mirembe mumakaga fi. Mubitundu vya fejetubera mubuanga liya fi. Hmm. Obaka wa sabasumba wabu tebutambu de. Ntiewe kolebi mu, visa no kumezewa, ira visa no kula nisiwa, ira tusa nende kutambuli na mumirembe mierele, kuruwa nafe. Anusta kolebi, kolebi rokuwa nafe, nusta kolebi ntubibi, kubula mbuwa nafe, kubanga finense, nusta jilimu kujinyumirwa, kujuomirwa, ate kuongira kupromotinga dembe, kuongira kupromotinga mirembe, sosu kujono na kujimala obu mazi. Kali, biebio no, hebiga mbuwa sabasumba, no baka we, wawade, obusani de, okutambuzo kuongira yo, Bilo mwabu tegele ya labu Wabachogole dembele ya bantu Wasolo kwa bantini no babu kwa atila Babu yigirako Bale mwabu kudamu kuchogole dembele ya bantu
bagala nyumu na baliko mwe bali kubera ko omukama watonna swa bankumire tujja kwatu damu tugambe bigambo mwe